Hey, how's it going everyone? Tazen here and today I'm going to do a discussion on virtual reality additions or components in traditional non-virtual reality games. So obviously uh, virtual reality is um, a new thing right now. It's coming out soon on the PS4 so it's going to be accessible to console players without the need of a high power um, PC or anything. Um, and obviously games are being developed at the moment, virtual reality games, but at E3 we saw um, a couple of announcements of games that aren't virtual reality based, traditional games, actually having um, features in it that will allow you to play certain stages or certain parts of the game in virtual reality as sort of like an additional bonus. And I thought this was fantastic. So from it's, this is not from the perspective that maybe those virtual reality additions um, would play good or not, but the fact that they're being incorporated into games I think is a fantastic thing because for one, virtual reality won't be cheap um, for everyone. And obviously, you know, once you get it, you're going to have to get the camera, the motion controls, if, if your games require that, and then the games also. But if you're play, buying and playing, you know, games just as you would, and then next thing you know, you have a backlog of several games where you can actually play parts of it in virtual reality. Then when you get your virtual reality kit, you've already got some of those games to go and play. So... One example, and I thought this is fantastic, is Battlefront. Finally having something in virtual reality. This is something I've dreamed of since playing uh, Rebel Assault and Rebel Assault 2 on the PC with the joystick and stuff and just feeling like so immersed. But imagine wearing a virtual reality um, headset and you're looking around and just seeing TIE fires and dodging and stuff. And same with, like, I think it would be perfect with games like that in a Rogue Squadron game. So it looked like this level was a space battle and first person from the cockpit. So I think that is perfect. Uh, I wish we got more of that in Battlefront. I, I, like I say, I wish we, instead of that, we also got a... If, I wish we got um, a Rogue Squadron game on the PS4. You know, and that is obviously a game that is all offline. Play through all the levels. Something like that. You know, Battlefront is pretty much an exclusive online experience. Um, so it's a bit of shame we haven't gotten that. But to see something like that be incorporated in the Battlefront, and you know, if they did like a virtual reality Battlefront game, or if they kept the traditional, but... They added more sort of virtual reality levels and stuff, or you could play it, get a level traditionally, but also in the virtual reality um, headset. That would be mind blowing. Um, another one was Final Fantasy 15. It's really cool to see that, you know, there's a little extra you could get uh, with the virtual reality headset, a PlayStation um, VR, and you play as Prompto and you're shooting. Um, the example they showed was shooting or fighting the behemoth, which is similar to like Episode Duskgate. Um, Reviews on that actual demo that, at least from what people played at the E3, which is obviously probably not the final version, um, was a bit mixed, you know, it wasn't generally the best experience to them, but as I was saying, um, discussion is focused on, you know, those components being incorporated in traditional games, and I think that's fantastic, because you never know what else they can do with them, they can always improve things, and it's not something that is generally, you know, it's... Like I said, it may not be, it's not saying that's required to play the game through or beat it, but it is a cool bonus to have if you ever do get a virtual reality headset or you feel like, hang on, I've got all these games now, you know, maybe there's a, they incorporate, yeah, into a lot of other games and you can just go first person, you know, they may do it with shooters, they may end up doing it with something like Overwatch, that'd just be fantastic. But uh, yeah, let me know your thoughts, guys, and what you think about this. Obviously, this is something that I never really thought about much. I always thought about just normal games and then virtual reality games, and or uh, and the virtual reality games being you know their own games, or uh, uh, completely remaking and re-releasing a normal game in the virtual reality um, style. But then obviously we're seeing stuff like now, like Resident Evil Seven. Apparently, you can play that normally, and you can also play it through virtual reality. So it's cool to see that. Um, I'm assuming that maybe that's obviously all in the one disc, like you don't have to buy a virtual reality version or anything like that. Um, otherwise, you'd be doubling up, if, you know, and then it's not as easy to just, oh, if you feel like you don't want to play virtual reality, play the normal and you have to rebuy it. So I don't know much about that, actually. I didn't look into it, but let me know. Maybe you also know how that one, um, that sort of works with a game like that. But uh, yeah, let me know your thoughts. And uh, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for like, sharing, and subscribing. And until the next video, stay spot on.